guys welcome back to beauty for all in today's video we are going to learn how to apply on a flawless foundation this is my go-to makeup base and it is super easy to follow along so just keep on watching started the first thing i am going to be applying is my elf hello hydration cream this is thebomb.com i suggest that you apply a cream to your face even if you have oily skin the reason that you have oily skin is because your skin is dry get it it's dry it needs moisture so it creates oils which makes you oily so if you apply on the face cream every single day, twice a day, your skin will go back to normal. Alrighty, so after the face cream, I do let it dry just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum that I have two drops left i do recommend this this is amazing all right guys so now we're gonna go in with our foundation i am going to be using my l'oreal true match find your undertone it's very important shake your foundation before you put it on your face okay so i do apply this with a flat brush i do not know where this brush is from it is my favorite favorite brush and i have no idea where i got it from to blend my foundation i do use my morphe y6 brush i think this is the best brush in the world and i do pat instead of just doing this whole thing i think that just moves your foundation around way too much and we don't want that we want it to stay exactly where we put it Take your time blending everything out. Already, it is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. I am in love with this foundation. I just am. It is absolutely perfect. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go with concealer. I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is on the drying side so if you didn't moisturize like i told you to your under eyes gonna be super super crazy okay so i do take this on the back of my hand you don't need much from this this is little goes a long way i take the same brush why I use the brush instead of the brush that it comes with it just blends better with me doing it with this brush instead of the brush that it comes with I don't know I just like it like this and then we're going to go with the Y6 brush and we're just going to blend everything out by tapping tapping tap tap not this not that tap okay When I do my, when I do under my eyes, I like to look up just to avoid any wrinkles. And then I look down just to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. All 
All right guys, so for powder, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This baby is my holy grail. I've been using it forever, forever. And when I say forever, like ever since I started doing my makeup. All right, so we're going to take a sponge. I like to take a little sponge. This is from Real Techniques. Use whatever sponge you got. This sponge matters though, it does. If, if it's not like a fluffy sponge, if it's on the harder side, it's not going to do it as well as it would if the sponge is really soft and just, you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. I do not put powder where I'm going to put more powder on top, aka my cheeks, just because it makes no sense to put powder where we're going to put more powder on. We're going to look cakey if we do that because that's just too much powder. It's too much stuff on your face. Make sure you press down on your face so that it really sticks, okay? And this is dry, by the way. Super duper dry. I do not use it wet. Okay, so now for bronzer, the one that I use is the Milani Baked Bronzer. This is this little bad boy right here. It's super beautiful. This is the color 05 Soleil. I believe that's how you pronounce it and i'm going to be using my morphine my morphine <laughs> and i'm going to be using my morphe and jacqueline hill collection jh04 number four brush just think this brush this whole collection i have the whole entire collection they are bomb they're amazing And I like to start at the at my temples. I believe that's what they're called. And I do a mixture of tap and swipe. We're gonna call it swipe because I don't I don't know if this is the correct term, but yeah. So the next step is blush. It does change depending on my look or my mood or whatever I have closest to me. For today's video, I decided to use my NARS Orgasm. That's the name of it. I do recommend that you take your blush and you blend it up. And then the last step for our base is going to be highlight. This does change depending on, again, my mood, whatever is closest to me. So for today's video, I'm going to be using my ColourPop. This is Some Like It Hot. That's the name of it, Some Like It Hot. And I'm going to be using my JH07 brush. Alrighty, so here you guys have the finished base routine. I just did my brows and added some gloss just to keep it real simple. I hope you have found this quick breakdown to be easy and helpful. But this is it, you guys. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.